वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू डी वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ टू मेक अ सबवे सर्फ अ गेम यूजिंग यूनिट इन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइक ऑन फॉर न्यू वीडियो सो लेट गेस्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेक अ वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू मेक अ गेम लाइक सबवे सर्फ इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव ओनली गिव द आइडिया टू मेक अ गेम बट आफ्टर रीडिंग द कमेंट्स ऑन दिस वीडियो आई हैव डिसाइड टू मेक अनदर वीडियो टू मेकिंग अ सबवे गेम आई मेक दिस वीडियो इन टू फाइव पार्ट सो लेट गेस्ट आर हेयर इज द लिंक ऑफ मॉडल which i am using in this video so first of all drag this level this model have different type of chunk so first of all we need to do is create prefab of every chunk this model contain different type of trains ground like bridge and jungle so now first of all we need to create prefab i have already created prefab which we spawn using randomizer script but for this tutorial i am deleting this all sip chunks and only using this intro scene because in this tutorial i am only explain you to how to make a character moving left right jump and roll using character controller i am change this animation type to humanoid now there is animation so first of all set it to loop time and loop pose so now drag this character into scene and unpack this model its model contain different type of avatar you can see here it's a frank fresh fizzy king and other so i'm using the main tag and i'm deleting these these object because we are not using these object in this tutorial so now add shadow material because we are not using the direction light shadow so now select the character and change the name to player and add the component of character controller so search character controller so first of all set its center of y now i'm setting 0.45 and height is 0.9 and radius 0.2 it's a fit on this character so now go to character model and get its animation its first animation by default is running so select and drag on the player it's automatically create the animator of the model so create folder and animator and drag the animator into folder select the animator and go check it's automatically start with running so go and play it's running but not moving from position so now go and create script for moving left and right name as character no put skip into view studio so first of all i am adding the enum states system dot serializable public enum and name as side so first side is left and mid and right so if you want to use four five side so add here left one and right and add its enum state into skip and set the by default value side dot mid and set the transform dot position to vector 3.0 i'm using on um, zero position so if you want to change its position so set its position in here so now create float variable new expose and if input dot get key down not i'm using this i'm using the bold variable and name as swipe left and swipe right and now if swipe left equal input dot get key down any i'm setting the key code a and key code up left arrow and similar for swipe right but changing a to d and left arrow to right arrow so now if swipe left then set if stay m side equal to side dot mid then expose equal to new expose equal to 2f so i'm setting this value public so set public float x value and set the new expose to x value but it's right so minus and if side dot right then the new expose equal to 0 and copy this and paste here and if swipe right then the new expose it to x value positive 
and side if left then this new expose equal to zero so now get the character component of player name as m character and m character equal to get component character controller character controller used for moving the object with the delta position so now m character dot move and set the new expose but it's move it constantly so now we change minus the transform dot position dot x and multiply with vector theory dot right because we move this player to horizontal here is something missing so m side equal to side dot left because we not change the sides of player so m side dot right and mid now save and drag the script onto main player and now if we play and press the left arrow it moved to left track and mid and right but it's not playing any animation because we not set so go to animator and drag the left and right jump animation into animator so select left here's left animation and and right animation drag it and make the transaction to run and simple so now go to video studio and private animator name as m animator now m animator equal to get component animator on this model so so first m animator dot play and write the name of animation we said to key left and copy it and paste and change the name for right similar as left so now create another private float variable for transaction of animation name as x and x equal to math have dollar and change the x value to new expose and get the time for 10f now I'm creating the variable for speed of moving left and right and change the 10f to speed dot and change the new expose to x now save and go back to unity editor and set the speed dot to 10f now if we play it's perfectly moving left and right so you can change the speed of the moving left and right so you can suitable speed for jumping left and right so now we need to set jump animation so go to animator and first select the jump animation a jump and drag the jump animation into animator now jump select and I drag it and change the name to jump and select the landing animation is I'm using this one and not landing to and change the name to landing and to make the transaction of landing to first get the hang time and change the name to falling and now make the transaction from landing to run animation so save and go back to video studio so first of all create public float jump power and set it to 7f and create another private float for y it's for vertical velocity now create public void jump function and if m character dot is grounded then if we press the up arrow swipe up now create the variable for swipe up and swipe down and hide this variable into inspector so now go and if swipe up then play animation so y so first of all set the y equal to jump power and play the m animator dot play on fixed time so set the cross fade in fixed time and name the of animation set the value 0.1 f now and create another public ball in jump and in roll so now go back to jump function and set in jump equal to true now if character is not grounded then y minus equal to jump power multiplied by 2 multiplied by time dot delta time is for decreasing the vertical value so now and play the animation of falling and now if animator dot get current animator state of first layer and its name is if landing node if landing node if falling then 
m animated dot play the landing animation and in jump equal to false now save and if m animator m character dot velocity dot while less than the minus 0.1 f this four players start falling so now set the swipe up input and swipe up and key code w and up arrow and now go to and now create vector 3 move vector and equal to new vector and set the x value and y and forward value to 0 now remove this value from here so first x minus transform dot position dot x and right here move vector so and y multiply with time dot delta time now go back to unity editor and play and if we press left and right it's moving and press up arrow for jump and now if we increase the jump power it's jumping with creator velocity so now we are setting the roll animation so now select animator and select the road animation and drag into animator and make the transaction of roll to run animation and go back to visual studio now and create another function for roll animation and if if swipe down then animation play so m animator dot play we are not using the play we so we replacing the play to crossfade in fixed time and write the name of animation so now in roll equal to true and if and set the y value to minus equal to 10 f and in jump equal to false now and create another internal flow name as roll counter and to set the roll counter equal to 0.2 f which is the roll animation duration and roll counter minus equal to time dot delta time and if roll counter less than or equal to 0 f then set the value of roll counter to 0 and in roll equal to false so now create another variable private float glider height so set the current height node so i'm setting the cool height and create another variable for collider center of y now and set the value of cool height equal to m character dot height and cool center y equal to character center dot y this for getting the initial value of character controller now for set the initial value m character dot center equal to new vector new vector and set the value x to 0 and y is cool center y and m character dot height equal to cool height now copy and paste here and see half the both value for roll now save first of all call this function and set the swipe down input dot down arrow and s now save this and go back to unity editor and now if we play you can see it's perfectly jumping rolling and moving left and down i think here is something missing for character moving forward so for setting this we need to go back to again visual studio and write some light for moving forward so first of all set here if in roll no swipe left or right so copy and read if swipe left or not in roll then swipe left or right remove it save and now if we play you can see if we in roll then play not swiping left or right so now go back to visual studio and write the forward value so set the forward speed public float forward speed and set it to maybe 7f is good for forward speed and set here forward speed and multiply with time dot delta time i increase the sample scene so and set the forward speed to 10 and now if we play i think player movement is similar to subway surfer game so please subscribe my channel and share this video to other friends so thanks for watching my video